Hey guys, it's me Kachu here, and in this video, I am doing a deep analysis on Power League, solos and team, and how the best ways to play them are, the best tips, and anything else you'll need to know. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy. What other tips and stuff should I do? Because I do enjoy giving these videos a shot, like analysing stuff. Um, we're just going to get straight into it. So I've got two example matches, which I got star player and won 2 0 in both of them. But there was many things I could improve on as well. I'm also going to say, I'm gold one, I don't play Power League, league. I'm doing this video because I know how to play Power League, I, I just don't play it. Um, so for bans, I didn't know who to ban, so I just banned a brawl who's pretty versatile in most situations, which was Carl. Um, there was no one really broken, I should have probably banned someone more like Meg, but because I had first pick and I knew a B is just really good in all areas, and she would be one that the other team would probably take if I didn't take. I took her. Um, if you would just want to swap with a teammate for B, that would also be a good move. But since this is solo, obviously I just took B for myself. They played Sam, which was a really stupid idea. Because you basically... Also the Max didn't do this, or the Nita. But you've got to look at who the opponent pick and counter pick them. Rather than just picking someone good for the map. The first pick is the only pick where you can actually just pick who you think is good. And in that case, you'd normally pick the most broken four in general. Like Meg, B, Shelly, someone like that in the current map. Obviously, the map might change when you're watching this, but I'm making this season 18. So, um, obviously, we go in. Um, obviously, another tip, pick high-level brawls. If you pick brawls who are, like, power-free, you are not going to win. It's kind of expected, unless you do a swap, which is fine, obviously. Just don't pick a power free to stay on a power free brawl, basically. So I get in anyway. I'm playing very defensive, which is a good thing in one hand, but on the other hand, it's also not a great thing because, like, the whole point of brawl brawl is to score, not to get kills and defend. Uh, and I'm just playing very, very defensive. Like, you'll see, I just throw the ball away. I don't really like go for the goal. And to be fair, I couldn't go for the goal in this situation because it was a 3v1. But, like, I'm not trying to score, which is kind of a bad move in most cases. Um, I also want to say the tower played very bad because we had two non-splash damage uh, brawlers. They picked Nita, which you'd run a splash damage brawler so you could splash the bear and Nita. She picks Tara, which, yes, is a splash damage brawler, but isn't that good against Nita or just in general. So, they could have picked a better ball there, but to be fair, they played quite well, so I'm not going to give him any hit with that. It's just mainly the Sam. The Sam played really bad. He just kept trying to push me, and it just didn't work, so... Anyway, so, uh, we're holding down each lane. The Max is kind of just swapping lanes, but it's it's kind of fine. It's gold 1 or gold 3 or somewhere around the gold area, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I keep just kind of defending. I have to go back because my teammates both die. But uh, I realised they're going for goals, so I have to go around while none of my teammates go. Yeah, uh, sometimes you've got to expect that your teammates won't actually do anything. And just do everything just in case they don't, which they didn't there. Because they would have scored if I didn't go found. Um, so we continue getting kills, but we're not really like killing it. I mean, we're not really scoring any goals, which isn't good. We're just getting kills. Um, we're just destroying the bear, getting kills as tower. Doing stuff like that. Another good tip is just make sure you're being efficient with everything. I know it's not really a great tip, but just make sure whatever you're trying to do, you actually do it as well as you can. Like if you're trying to score, get your teammates together, get them to kill people, go get the goal. Um, not like I just did. Um, <laughs> if you're trying to kill someone, actually like finish them. If they're on one HP, they could be like finishing your team, you know. And work as a team. Like, yes, I said, assume your team's gonna do nothing if it's solo mode. I would say, if it's team mode, you know the people, so it's fine. But if it's solo mode, assume they're not gonna do the thing that will win the game, so you do it just in case. But also, like, try synergize with your team. If you're just playing by yourself, it's not gonna matter. Like, just. Like, it just wouldn't matter, you know? Okay, we scored. But, uh... I'm trying to think of a good way to put it. If, like, for example, you kill two people, and you get the ball, 
your teammates could both die to the third person and you might not score because they might respawn into the flake. So you've got to think about that. It's also similar with picking comps at the start. Like, I would say the banning and picking phase is the most important phase of a match. A lot of people probably won't agree. Um, but I would say it is the most important phase. So, um, when picking or banning, I would definitely go uh, and just pick a brawl that ban that count as their brawl, if I can talk. <laughs> um, I'm not very good at explaining things. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, like, if you had the best team in the world, say you had, like, I'm not saying Hive is the best player because he's very controversial, but he's number one in the world, so I'm using him as an example. Say you have, like, Hive, a crying man, and, like, Pika, because I can't think of anyone else. I don't watch pro games. Um, and they were on a team, but they pick Grom, Barley, Dynamite into Colt, Mortis, like another thrower counter. Uh, you would absolutely lose, no matter how good you are, because your team comp is just awful compared to theirs. You've got to see who they're playing and pick the appropriate counters. Basically, say they went Mortis, go like a tank maybe, like Shelly or something. Like, Shelly is really good right now, so Shelly is just a go-to. Um, say the pick Grom, go someone like Colt, who can use a gadget or a super to break the walls uh, to open the map. Unless, like, there's a reason not to break the walls, that like your team has a wall-dependent for little Willow or something. But still, uh, you get my point. Um, just see what they're doing and counter it. Um, getting into the second game, because I'm kind of conscious of the video length, I don't want it to be too long. Um, we're gonna get into game two. Okay guys, here's the proof we win if you actually care. Um, so there we are. I'll show you my stats as well, my stats are like insane. <laughs> like, 16 kills, 102,000 damage. Uh, the Sam definitely flew on their team. The Crow didn't do too bad though. The Crow carried for their team, the Sam absolutely flew. He had like 3 kills, like 13 losses or something. Um, but we're going to bounty anyway. As I said before, focus on the goal. So the goal is like actually killing and surviving. So you want to pick a brawler dependent on that. I'm first pick again, except for red team, so I'm second pick. So I'm gonna counter whatever the first red person goes with. I ban B because I want to go nanny if they go someone who is countered by nanny or can go against nanny. What can't we go against nanny? And they pick foe. And I end up going with Nanny because she's pretty versatile most of the time. And um, I'm good with her. Of course, play the brawlers you're good with as well. Like, if you have like 15 brawlers who are high level, you're good with. And range in different skills. Like, two throwers, two healers, three tanks, three sharpshooters. And then the rest are like a mix. You're probably gonna have brawlers that you do really well with. And a meta in different points of time. So I end up going Danny because she outranges Kfur and is pretty versatile. They go Grom, which for out in the open is a bit of a weird choice, but I go with it. They go Edgar, which is a clear sign to go someone like Spike or Penny. I see they don't have Spike, so I look for who they could have, and I see Penny. So I recommend Penny. Suggesting is very important in drafting, obviously. But they go Mandy, for some reason. Um, you'll see later, that was kind of a bad move, because Edgar's kind of counters all of us, so, um, yeah, listen to your teammates, um, check who you're off up against, but we're up against an Edgar, Brock, and Crow, I can deal with most of them, I'm the best at dealing with Edgar as well, the three of us, so, I'm just kind of dependent, I'm the one they're dependent on most of the time, so we're just gonna go into it anyway, so, um, I'm slightly concerned. I, I put the crying spray down. Um, Edgar immediately jumps into the middle, which was a really weird play. Um, I don't question it though, I already get my super. I've got the best gears, which is like supercharge and shield, so I just get them super quick. Uh, kill Kfur straight away. I stay back though, I don't really get too aggressive even though one of them's dead, just because my team is quite defensive as like a comp. and. I want to support my teammates, uh, as I said before. Edgar jumps on me. He only can get one of us, because I move the other way. 
so then I can finish him off here. Um, whenever it happens. <laughs> We're very awkward. I think he jumps over to the left side in a minute. I can't remember. Yeah, he jumps over to the left side and then I get him when he goes up to the top. Um, yeah, you've just got to really like... Another thing, use your gadgets, use your super, but use them sparingly. I know this is like really obvious stuff. This is like range to masters to bronze. Like, this is tips for everybody. So like, if you have three gadgets, and it's like the best gadget in the game. I don't know what the best gadget in the game is right now. Maybe like Pam's ammo remover one. That one's a good one. Uh, it's probably not the best one, but it's a good one. Um, if you have that, for example, use them, but make sure, especially for knockout, you have a one like every round. So that way you can probably make sure you like need it if you actually do need it. Like, obviously having it when you don't need it, but it will help is good. But if you actually need it and you don't have it, it's not great. Same with super. Like, if it's the end of a round, there's one enemy left, you've got your super. If it's the last round, sure, use your super it's knockout again um but if it's like second round they're winning one nil uh and you're about to win uh the, your first round don't use a super unless it's necessary like obviously there's different circumstances where using different things would be required like you might have to use all your gadgets which is fine if you're in a situation where you have to definitely use them uh it's just about situations but like if you can afford to spare one spare them uh, and if you use a super in a situation where it's like a 3v1 and you don't really need it well you don't really need to use it it's not great because there may be a situation where you do need it you know like I think I show this coming up now because it's 1-0 to them I think I show I just waste my super when there's one left but we'll see um, if you guys are enjoying this tip so far um, subscribe I hope these tips are like actually helpful and not just stating the obvious because I feel like some people just don't know these tips like from how I'm playing with, the, with these randoms they don't feel I don't feel like they know okay it wasn't this round I don't know though. uh yeah I end up getting star later again this round if you can't tell because these guys are trash but um I'm not very like proud of the entire thing because there was a lot I could improve on I could focus on pro ball like getting the ball more actually trying to score but B is not really a ball score we didn't really have a proper ball score but it was a weird map it was a weird map and weird comps from both teams so it was hard to do that so I don't know I think the tower could have gone to one more like fang and that might have worked I don't know it's just about thinking who do you counter by playing that ball who counters you by playing that ball is it a positive for you? If yes, play that brawl. If it's a better option, play the better option. But obviously, if you stuck with Otis, for example, but Otis is the best one, you could play him, but you could also play someone like... I don't even know who would take the place, like Lou. <laughs> I don't think Lou really takes the place of Otis in a comp, but like, if you really needed to, play someone like Otis instead. I mean, play someone like Lou instead, if you're better with them, and that might work. Well, anyway, we win that round. Let's see the stats. I can't remember the exact stats. Yeah, nine kills, one death. Um, I actually give the Edgar the thumbs up, because he hard carried his team. Um, just very, very hard carried. Um, it was very sad. <laughs> very, very sad to get into these lobbies. I, I, I might actually push Power League next season, I'm not sure. I probably won't, I just don't have enough time. And I might push to 50 here. I can. Um, so I might do that instead. But that's it for this video anyway guys. Um, I hope you did enjoy. I hope this video wasn't just a waste of 12 minutes or however long it was. Um, thanks for watching.